Miscarriage is the loss of a pregnancy before the 20th week. It's a deeply emotional experience for many, and it's important to understand what happens physically in the body. In the early stages of pregnancy, the body prepares for the growth of the fetus. However, during a miscarriage, these processes are interrupted, leading to several physical changes. The most common type of miscarriage is spontaneous, which happens naturally. One of the first signs of miscarriage is cramping and bleeding. This occurs as the uterus contracts to expel the pregnancy tissue. These cramps can feel like intense period pains, and bleeding may vary from light spotting to heavy, similar to a period. The hormonal balance in the body also shifts rapidly during a miscarriage. In a healthy pregnancy, hormones like progesterone and human chorionic gonadotropin, HCG, are elevated to support fetal development. However, as the pregnancy stops progressing, these hormone levels decrease, leading to symptoms like fatigue, nausea, and mood swings. As the body continues to miscarry, the cervix opens, allowing the tissue to pass through. This is often accompanied by heavier bleeding, which may include blood clots or fetal tissue. The process can take a few hours to a few days, depending on the individual and how far along the pregnancy was. In some cases, the miscarriage may not be complete, meaning some tissue remains in the uterus. This can cause prolonged bleeding and cramping, and it may require medical intervention, such as a procedure called a DNC, dilation and curatage, to remove the remaining tissue and prevent infection. The physical effects of miscarriage can vary widely from person to person. Some may experience mild discomfort, while others endure more intense pain and heavier bleeding. Regardless of the intensity, the body will naturally work to heal itself by returning hormone levels to normal and restoring the menstrual cycle. After a miscarriage, it's common for women to experience hormonal fluctuations. As the body readjusts, symptoms like breast tenderness, mood swings, and fatigue may persist for a few weeks. It can take anywhere from four to six weeks for hormone levels to normalize and the menstrual cycle to resume. The emotional toll of miscarriage can be significant as well. Feelings of grief, sadness, and even guilt are common as the body physically processes the loss. It's important for individuals to take time to recover, not only physically but emotionally, as miscarriage can have a deep emotional impact. While miscarriage can feel isolating, it's a more common experience than many realize. About 10 to 20 percent of known pregnancies end in miscarriage. Seeking medical guidance and support from loved ones can help in both the physical and emotional recovery process, ensuring that healing takes place holistically. If someone experiences recurrent miscarriages, it's essential to consult with a health care provider. Multiple miscarriages could be a sign of underlying health conditions like hormonal imbalances or structural issues with the uterus. Medical evaluations can help identify potential causes and treatment options. In most cases, a single miscarriage does not indicate that future pregnancies will fail. Many women go on to have successful pregnancies after a miscarriage. However, the recovery process can take time, and it's vital to let the body and mind heal before attempting to conceive again. The journey through miscarriage is challenging, both physically and emotionally. Understanding what happens in the body during this time is an important step toward healing. Remember, every experience is unique, and reaching out for medical advice and emotional support can make the process more manageable.